Hey everybody, Matt Fostering from Fostering here. I want to show you a little video, um, actually something that I came across on accident, how to do mass updating from list views and creating your own custom button for mass updating. Uh, actually something I found in the nonprofit starter pack in Salesforce and uh, just found it was, thought it was kind of interesting um, functionality. I've been doing Salesforce work for <laughs> over 10 years now and uh, first time I've seen this. I know there's like mass update packages that you can do to do mass updates uh, for your buttons here. Um, but that package is, is a little wonky um, and I thought this was really cool. So I'm going to walk through and demonstrate how to create this. So from whatever object you want to do, go to edit object. You then want to create a new action. So go to button links and actions. Click new action. And as soon as lightning loads, because it loves to load super fast. If you're an admin, you'll understand that joke. Uh, so you're going to create a new action. You're going to click update record and create a label. So let's say, let's say update, update, uh, I don't know, status. Get the name. You can have a description, congrats. All statuses updated. Ooh. You can pick a little icon if you want but I'll just leave it the same. So go ahead and hit save. Next, what you're going to want to do is pick your field set or, you know, what field you want updated. So for this, we want status, All right? I'll take lead status, throw it in there, but you could add whatever fields you want into this, uh, uh, into this view. So we'll save that. So one thing you'll notice that any sort of mandatory field is, uh, it will you'll prompt here and you're gonna have to put that in uh, your default values so let's go ahead and add last name so predefined values last name sorry for that pop-up and then this will be lead dot last name pretty sure well, let's double check <laughs> so lead Last name. No, oh, lead C name. Oh, we have a custom object for leads, that's why. So you're gonna have to predefine that value for whatever the values are required. <coughs> so now we've got that uh, created. Next, what we're gonna do is add it to uh, that view. So have it be a button there. We'll go to search layouts for Salesforce Classic, and then uh, we can see and this is our list view buttons. We'll hit edit. And now you'll see update status available for lightning quick actions. Let's go ahead and hit save. And we'll go back, refresh. And we can see update status is here now. I've only had success in doing about 50 records at a time. I've tried for more than that. And I had some kind of wonky results. So let's just do, let's just update a few of these. Hit update status, and you get this nice little, uh, you know, module that pops up here. Let's just say close converted. Again, these are just, you know, template things. Hit save. Are you sure you want to update those? Yep, we do. Congrats, all lead status is updated. And you'll see that those just got updated. Like I said, I've had some issues in trying to do this on more than 50 records. You could certainly try it, um, but we can go ahead and. Let's try 50, see if that works. Hey, it worked, awesome. So you can, to my knowledge, you can do that on any object in Salesforce and do a quick action. Again, like I said, I've seen this in the nonprofit starter pack. So just to review again, you'll go to button links and actions, go to new action, um, update a record, create your quick action. Um, you're gonna define your, your predefined values. So whatever value it's gonna look for, uh, you got to predefine those values uh, in the um, in the predefined field values. If you hit edit layout, then you're going to be able to choose whatever fields you want to update. Again, we could add in uh, let's uh, just for just for fun. Let's go ahead and add some of these things in here, and you'll see how this is reflective. And you can update those fields as well. So let's say I was going to do this again for 50 records. Update status. And now I can see I can, you know, I can update even more fields with that quick action 
in a list view. So uh, hopefully this is real helpful. Um, again, this was just kind of like a sideline thing that I see in the nonprofit starter pack and started playing around with it. And uh, it's really kind of a quick, easy way to have a, a you know easy user interface to update a status in Lightning uh, using quick actions and with um, uh, list views. Hopefully that helps. And then as always, if you need any help, feel free to contact Fostering. Um, we are a full service uh, Salesforce consultant shop. We keep it small, keep it quality, and keep it close to the chest. So our team's here to uh, certainly want to help you out. Uh, go ahead and go to our Contact Us page or hit me up, uh, Matt Foster at Fostering. Thanks.